What's going on guys? It's me, the Amazing Cross. Thank you for checking us out at Mains and Crosses Unstrung Unfiltered. Guys, this is a, definitely a different setting. I'm actually here waiting for my client to do a drop off here at the beautiful Pentagon City Mall. But uh, crazy debate on IG this morning. Uh, if you guys didn't know, <laughs> uh, somebody sent me a picture of, uh, of a racket, right? Getting strung. And I, you know, I was up for debate. So I, I put the picture up on Instagram, on my stories and stuff, and a, a lot of feedbacks and, and great ones and good ones. I don't, I'm, right now, let me tell you right now, I'm not here to shame anybody or do anything like that. So uh, the picture was just the picture of a racket getting strung. And that's, that's all it was. I thought it was a great demonstration, a great example. So what it was was the racket, right? It was a head racket, and of course the head racket has indicators like, hey, tie-offs here, uh, crosses here, whatever. Or, uh, cro you know, tie-off for main, tie-off on, on crosses. Anyway, uh, the guy had um, the poly on the... Uh, he did a gut poly. So similar to this scenario right here, you see this? Um, the head racket has the tie-off for the cross on the top, which is like, I think it was number, it's number six or something like that. So he's tying polyester on the gut, which I think um, is somewhat damaging. Um, the, t the knot was very tight, it looked like it was clamped really hard because the, the, the top was really, really thin. It looked like it had been, been pulled. So my thing was like, hey, why put that gut under stress? And you guys already know you have to take the time to, um, you know, uh, pre, uh, you know, uncoil and do so many great things with natural gut. So. Um, Tying off really tightly on that piece of uh, natural gut is, is very, um, I guess I would say, I would say damaging. So the, my rule of thumb is, and a lot of people do abide by this, and this I didn't make this up, and this is something I, I, I got. So you can tie gut on gut. You can tie gut on poly. You can tie poly on poly, but you can never or you shouldn't um, tie poly onto gut. And I think Yonex is a great example. That's why I have this racket right here to show you guys that they made a system, which is great. They have the tie-off for the cross on the cross. It's amazing. It's on um, cross number three. You can see here it's a, it's a open hole. So you can um, tie off. So this eliminates that, that, that option to tie the poly on the mains, which possibly could be natural gut. Now, if you were doing this the other way around, if you did poly and gut, fine, you'll end up tying um, gut on gut. However, in this scenario, if this was another racket, this tie-off right here would be on the top on these things. What I would do at that point is obviously, customer's always right, tell them, you know, this is, hey, this is what my personal opinion is, and here is why it's better, X, Y, and Z. However, there is some con to it. If the racket does not come with a flared or open hole on the cross, you would have to use an awl to bust it open a little bit so you have to tell them hey we're warping that you know we're actually modifying that cross so is that okay i think it outweighs the cost of damage of your gut which you spend a lot of money on so you could have a premature breakage on that on that one string i don't know that being said guys what do you guys think put on the comment below guys if you uh, enjoyed our videos please subscribe to us uh if you haven't checked this out on instagram please uh there's a link right on the description, so just right below, just kind of click on it. So thank you so much. Uh, tell me in the comments, what do you guys do? Do you, do you believe my theory, which is, uh, let me go over that again. Uh, gut on gut is fine. Gut on poly is fine. Poly on poly is fine, but never poly on gut. Guys, thank you so much. Many amazing crosses, unstrung, unfiltered. Um, peace out.